Hey everyone, one of my original intentions of doing the uh, somewhat product reviews that I've done before is to be able to suggest alternate solutions or options to some tactical gear or equipment or what have you. Now I'll be showing you two multi-tools right now. This is one of them. The uh, Victorinox Huntsman 2. This is a very old knife. It's been used for more than 10 years now. It is composed of the following tools. A can opener with the small flathead screwdriver, the large blade, scissors, the uh, wood saw, small blade, bottle opener with the uh, large flathead screwdriver and the uh, uh, wire stripper or wire bender. Those are the layer tools. The back layer tools composed of the uh, corkscrew, the hook, and the reamer with the sewing eye. Scale tools are composed of the uh, toothpick and the tweezer. Oh, and also the, uh, the key ring. Okay. Now, tools that I don't usually use is the uh, don't use the corkscrew, don't use the hook, and the can opener I don't usually use. Uh, I, I've used the uh, flathead screwdriver one, the small one. The scissors, yeah, I use that a lot but until uh, I broke the uh, spring. Okay. Um, the uh, small blade not as often as the uh, the large one. I use the uh, bottle opener and the uh, f large flathead screwdriver but I don't use the uh, wire stripper or wire bender. I'm more, I'm more inclined to think that it's a wire bender because I don't know how you could strip wire with that. It's a lot more effective to just use the knife. Okay. I don't use the saw either. Blade a lot and the scissors. The reamer, I've used this before, yeah. Uh, the uh, earlier models didn't have the sewing eye. Uh, this is very effective in punching holes through leather or canvases. And later on, the designers came up with the idea of uh, putting on a sewing eye because they realized a lot of people had the need to. Uh, Run string uh, strings through uh, holes that they punched in, and this makes it a lot more easier. Okay, and then the uh, toothpick. I don't use this. Uh, I don't use it as a toothpick. I use it to clean up some grooves, small grooves or something, but not as a toothpick. And then the tweezers, very effective. Okay, so you're getting your money's worth with these. Uh, Swiss Army knives, actually. Uh, in fact, one of the one of the things that I like about uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knives is that it'll withstand the uh, test of time. So, uh, throw it in in an old dusty drawer for a couple of years, and when you go back for it, it'll still be in great condition. Okay, uh, this one I just uh, cleaned it up a little bit, lubed it up, and uh, it's still in great shape. But not a lot of people can uh, afford these. Okay, uh, I'll show you an alternative for this. Because uh, nowadays, nowadays, if you shop for one of these, you, you'll find one for uh, twenty-five dollars or maybe even less. This is the uh, John Benson Division of Chicago Tools Multi Tool. Okay. It's not as expensive as the uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knife, but quality is sufficient enough, especially for me, for use as an EDC. This, this is what I use for my EDC. Uh, I don't use this because it's better than the Swiss Army knife, but mainly because this one has pliers and I realized at some point that uh, I needed pliers more often. But I would still say in terms of quality, the Victorinox Swiss Army Knife is still the best there is. Okay. So if I were to have a uh, Victorinox Swiss tool or a Wenger pocket grip, I would use that 
for my EDC and just keep this. But like I said, this is an excellent alternative. Uh, you see, some, especially uh, here in the Philippines, a lot of people can't afford Swiss Army knives, so they would resort to cheap imitations. But those types don't even come close to the quality of the authentic uh, Swiss Army knives. The uh, tools would rust out easily, uh, joints would stiffen with the rust, uh, the quality really sucks. Okay. So if you're going to go for an alternative, might as well go for the uh, uh, John Benson Division of Chicago Tools. Okay. Uh, this particular one has the, uh, the blade, it's got a reamer, there's no sewing eye. but had to use for the sewing line anyway. Some of the uh, tools are pretty stiff here. Uh, I've got the uh, the uh, can opener, or bottle opener that is, with the uh, flathead screwdriver and the smaller flathead screwdriver. Okay. And the, uh, got the file with the saw, the uh, can opener with the uh, Phillips head screwdriver. And there is some, got some wrenches here, and that's it. Okay, uh, I've used all the tools here, even the knife. Although I don't, I don't usually use knives anymore. Uh, I've got a separate knife for that one, for EDC. Uh, but all in all, this really works, especially the pliers. It's, the main reason why I carry this all the time is because of the pliers. So there, okay. So the Sarnia knives are the best, but if you can't afford them, I would say go for John Benson Division of Chicago Tools. They're a lot cheaper, and their quality is good. It's not as good as the Swiss Army knives, the Victorinox or Winger or what have you, but uh, it's a good alternative. I mean, it works for me. And go for this rather than go for the cheap imitations. So. Alright, that's it. Uh, until next time, take care.